That's what I'm saying. You know, obedience is better than sacrifice. All right. Uh, now we're gonna go to uh, First Exodus chapter two. First Exodus in the pocket. Well, we gotta, you gotta get one of for the other king. Or download it on your phone. You can download it on your phone too. First Edgers chapter two. So, and, and and I'm going to these other parts, you know, obviously for uh, witnesses, you know, uh, and to em emphasize the importance of keeping, you know, these these important feast days. But um, given, again, you know, during certain times, it wasn't the easiest for uh, the, the Hebrews to to keep the feast days. There was a lot of obstacles Satan was putting up. So, but, you know, they, again, obedience is better than sacrifice. And even though it was difficult, they still like, man, we got to do this. We got to find a way. We got to do it, you know, and, and whatnot. So, um, first, Edris chapter 2. Uh, Verse 1, and on down. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persians, the Persians, that the word of Yah might be accomplished, that we, that he had promised by the mouth of uh, German, Germany. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah, okay. Yeah, it might be Jeremiah. Uh, Yah raised up the spirit of Cyrus, the king of the Persians, and he made proclamations through all his kingdom, and also by writing, saying, Thus said Cyrus, king of Persians, the Yah of Israel, the Most High, Yah, hath made me king of the whole world. Woo, boy. Think about that, man. He can praise to Yah. A Gentile king, That's man. That's right. Well, he know what y'all did. Yeah, Nebuchadnezzar, you know. Nebuchadnezzar do too. When he got, you know, when y'all put the wings on him, had him eating, you know, <laughs> you know, out the grass. When he came back, he was like, my bad, y'all. My bad. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know about Nebuchadnezzar. He was, a, he was the same situation as Cyrus. Y'all put him as the king of the world, basically. And he got a little big-headed. And y'all uh, punished him. And, you know... He was like a wild. Yeah, he was like a dog. You know, he was like he turned him into like a beast, and you know he humbled down and uh, to Yah at the end, of, at the end of uh, later part. Okay, saying, "Thus said Yah, King of the Persians, uh, no, verse four, and commanded me to build him an house at Jerusalem in Jerry, Jerusalem. If therefore there be any of you that are of his people, so there's like, you know, expect that coming, you know, soon too. They don't be making just like in Isaiah, I think in Isaiah 50 or Isaiah 60. Uh, see what they're doing? They, they calling, they, they, they trying to get all the Jews. Hey, if you a Jew, we got something special for you, you know, in this future. All the Jews, get on this boat. Take the gold, the diamonds. This is yours. That's coming. That's coming. My point. That, that's, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. If you are a Jew, if you are... <laughs> that's coming. That's coming. And Cyrus did it too. That's what Cyrus is doing, you know. Uh, he commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem in Jewry. If therefore there be any of you that are of his people, let Yah, even his Yah, be with him. And let him go to Jerusalem that is in Judah and build the house of Yah of Israel, for he is Yah that dwelleth in Jerusalem. So Cyrus is making, you know, just a side note, Cyrus is making a clear um, understanding uh, to everybody. This is first and foremost. The, the 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 power of Israel, you know, his chosen people. These, these are his, you know, the order. You know, it's, it's, it's Israel and everything else nationwide fall under Israel. So first he talks to Israel, and then Israel goes out to, you know, minister to everybody else. Just, you know, um, verse six. Whosoever then dwell in this place about, let them help him. Those, I say, that are his neighbors, 
with gold and with silver, with gifts, with horses, and with cattle, and other things which have been set forth by vow for the temple of Yah at Jerusalem. And this is another thing, too. This is prior to, you know, the, the, the accomplishment of the curse. Just like uh, in Deuteronomy 28, it says, Thou will uh, hate thy brother, the mother will hate the child, etc., etc. You know, once Yah lifts the curses, you know, we're going to go back to this, because you can't, you can't get a bunch of uh, uh, Israelites nowadays, hey, man, we need some gold, you got the horses, you bring the potato salad, meet us there at 12. You're going to be the only one. You might not even be there at 12, man. I ain't giving them no money, man. <laughs> so, but that's the curses of, of, you know, the hate for one another, you know. That, that's, that's the curse, okay. But uh, when the curse leaves, you know, it's going to go back to, to the brotherly love. With gifts, with horses, and with cattle, and other things which have been set forth by vow for the temple of Yah at Jerusalem. Then the chief of the families of Judah and of the tribe of Benjamin stood up, the priests also, the Levites, and also they whose mind Yah had moved to go up and to build an house for Yah at Jerusalem. And they that dwelt round about them and help them, so you know, uh, like fellow uh, the strangers that uh, laid around about them, you know, just like Abraham's uh, man servants, maid servants, and whatnot. And they that dwelt round about them and helped them in all things with silver and with gold, with horses and cattle, and with very many free gifts of a great number, whose mind were stirred up thereto. So, you know, again, in the last day, you know, y'all going to, you know, put things in people's minds. Hey, give them $5,000. Hey, give them your gold Rolex. You know, it's just, they're just going to be hearing voices. Give them your car keys. <laughs> you know, all, that's... Hey, well, where is that? I'm waiting for it now. You know, you and me both. <laughs> you and me both. I'm sure everybody else too. <laughs> <laughs> them voices. <laughs> Talking about people be hearing voices. Here you go, Ron. Here's an envelope. Here you go. There you go. Your y'all told me to give this to that's, you. This is a random, this a random person. Your y'all told me to give this to you. He wakes me up at 3 in the morning, each morning, you know, and tells me to do this, you know. Okay, uh, stir it up then. King Cyrus also bought forth the holy vessels, which Nebuchadnezzar, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, yes, Nebuchadnezzar, had carried away from Jerusalem because uh, again when Nebuchadnezzar got back right with uh, Yah Yah used them to uh, put a whooping on Jerusalem you know y'all y'all get out of here man you know so that's, that's interesting uh, which Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and had set up in his temple of idols now when Cyrus king of the Persians had brought them forth he delivered them to the uh, Metherites, his treasures, and by him they were delivered to Sanabeshers, the governors of Judah. And this was the number of them, a thousand golden cups, a thousand silver senses. Uh, I'll skip on down a little bit because they, they just given the riches uh, to, to help build the temple. I'll skip down to, um, to 16. But in the time of Archiatrius, king, some of these are Greek names, you know, they, they got very long, unique names. Uh, king of the Persians, uh, Bel, Bel, Belimus, and Metorites, and the Tebalus, and the Rathamus, and the Bethamus, and the Similis and sanctuary with others, and where is commissioned with them, dwelling in Samaria and their places, wrote unto him against them that dwelt in Judah and Jerusalem these letters following to King Archeretris, our Lord, thy servant Rathomus, and story writer, and Similius, the scribe, and the rest of their council. And the judges that are in Celo Syria, 
Anne and uh, Phineas. Yeah, Phoenicia. Uh, be it now known to the Lord, the King, that the Jews that are come up from you to us, being come un into Jerusalem, that rebellious and wicked city, do build the marketplace and marketplaces and repair the walls of it and do lay the foundation of the temple. Now, if this city and the walls thereof be made up again, they will not only refuse to give tribute, but also rebel against kings. And you, you see why, you know, why it's so hard for, uh, it's such opposition for Israel to come together, the real Israelites to come together, because they understand, you know, once Zion come together, they'll be like, I don't need you. <laughs> yeah. I don't need your food stamps. I don't need your government assistance. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you. That's what I'm saying. And you see how they're panicking. You know, they ain't, they stop paying taxes. They ain't paying no parking tickets. You know, they don't pay parking tickets a lot uh, nowadays anyway. But, uh, but it's going to get worse. Yeah, Philadelphia, that's the place, man. I don't know why people uh, live in that hell, but they do. That's their choice. Or, I mean, they have a, 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 a parking sign with like 20 different things in the parking. Is in, you know, you got to be really careful where you park, you know? And people just get the ticket. Oh, man, five tickets, 20 tickets, 30 tickets. And then they come out with a boot on their car. Oh, boy, and then, you know... Boot. And now the thing about about two, three thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got that type of money, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> hey, you know, so man, it is, that's crazy. I would never live, in, you know, never live in a place like that. Um, verse 19. Now, if this city and the walls thereof be made up again, they will not only refuse to give tribute, but also rebel against the kings. And for as much as the things pertaining to the temple are now in hand, we think it meant not to neglect such a matter. So, you know, this is like a national uh, security matter that they're uh, bringing up. And it's the same thing as the same day. You know, uh, when Zion get together, you know, the cops come, FBI is getting called, like, hey, something's going on. I think they know, you know, <laughs> that's the truth, you know. There's a lot of Hebrew Israelites on the uh, uh, FBI watch list, so. You too? How you doing? I want to watch this. I know. Been on the watch list. <laughs> yeah, you uh, still watch me now. You know. Uh, verse 22. <laughs> and thou shalt find, and thou shalt find in the chronicles what is written concerning these things, and shall understand that. That city was rebellious, troubling both kings and cities. You know, that's why Psalms 83, let us build a tumult against them and wipe the name of Zion out. Because, you know, when Zion get in, into power, it's trouble for the other nations. You know, they, they don't want Zion back in power. And that, and that the Jews were rebellious and raised always wars therein. Uh, for the which caused even this city was made desolate. Wherefore, now we do declare unto thee, O Yah, uh, not Yah, O Lord, they're talking to um, the king, Arthritis. Uh, yeah, that's where probably Arthritis probably came from. You know, uh, the king, that if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up a new, thou shalt from henceforth have no passage in uh, 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 yeah, uh, Phoenicia. Then the king wrote uh, back again to Rathamus, the story writer, to Beth Bethamus, and to Silamus, the scribe, and to the rest that were in commission. And dwellers in Samaria and Syria, in uh, Syria, and Phoenicia, according to the, this matter, I have read the epistle, uh, the epistle which ye have sent unto me. Therefore, I command to make diligent search, and it hath been found. 
that's it. I think that was a wrong. It might have been a wrong chapter, but it was a good read, though. All right, it was a good read. Yeah. All right, uh, five, chapter five, chapter five. Same book? Yeah, chapter five. But you see, but you see the main point how you know when when Zion went to come after they're they're in a certain type of bondage situation when they're coming out to go worship Yah, the issue is immediately. You know, they 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 trying to find out ways to uh, put a stumbling block to refrain them from um, keeping the feast days. Uh, verse 1 to 3. Verse 5, chapter 5, verse 1 through 3. After this were the principal men of the families chosen according to their tributes, to their tribes, excuse me, to go up with their wives and sons and daughters, with their manservants and their maidservants and their cattle, and Darius sent with them a thousand horsemen till they had brought them back to Jerusalem safely and with uh, musical instruments, uh, turbots, and flutes. So again, you know, Yah feast days just ain't no uh, yeah, kick, cooking some lamb and you know, uh, yeah, okay, see y'all not. Where the flutes at? Where the, where the drums at? You know, you know, it's a party. You know, it's a lively party. You know, you just had a family reunion barbecue. You know, turn up the music. You know, and whatnot. You know, it's lively. You know, it's not dull. You know, you could imagine what they're doing in the kingdom right now, celebrating a uh, feast of tabernacle. You know, Michael on the drums. You know, they playing. The, I mean, the saxophone. You know, yeah. You know. If James Brown happened to be for some reason, I don't believe so. But if he happened to be, you know, in the kingdom, you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's, I'm talking about the musical points, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. These are the feast days. They're lively. They're not dull. That's my point. That's my point. And that, that, that's the worldly oh, skill of it, you know. The angel outdo that, you know, all day. Come on, come on. Man, you know. Hey. Y'all playing around acting like James Brown. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can, it's lively. That's my point. It's lively. It ain't dull, you know what I'm saying? Just like we was talking about the trees, the gardens, and you know, they lighting up the trees, you know. It's, it's lively. It's not dull, you know. Because a lot of people think about the Bible, oh, man, it's so dull. You know, they just think, you know, they just cutting off some, sacrificing some cow and Nestor's dead. And, nah, man, it's much more than that. Much more than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And having fun. That's why y'all say do it in joy. Don't think y'all gonna, gonna say do it in joy and just make it boring. You know, you're gonna make it fun. That's right. Okay. Uh, verse 2. And Darius sent with them, uh, verse 3, and all their brethren played and he made them go up together with them. Now go down to verse 41 to 53. 41 to 53. Same chapter, 41 to 53. Now the, uh, in between, this is the back story of, of their, tri their trial and tribulations getting to this point. You know, like I kept telling y'all that it wasn't easy to worship Yah. You know, they was putting up stumbling blocks. Alright, so 40, 41 to 53. So, of Israel, from them of twelve years old and upward, they were all in the number forty thousand, besides man servants and women servants, two thousand three hundred and sixty. Their man servants and handmaids were seven thousand, their a uh, hundred forty and seven. The uh, singing man and the singing women. 245 uh, I mean again you know the Arika, I am not saying Aretha Franklin's uh, lifestyle character I'm talking about her voice you know imagine a hundred Aretha Franklins you know I mean that you know 50 Mariah Carey's I mean that you know that place who who a good uh Marvin Gaye's 20 Marvin Gaye's uh, Luther Vandross I mean the voice wise you know you you talking about some you know, some 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 good sounding stuff. All right. Uh, um, forty three. 
435 camels, 7,066 horses, 245 mules, 5,525 5, 5, beasts used the yoke, and certain of the chief of the families, when they came to the temple of Yah, that is in Jerusalem, vowed to set up the house again in his own place according to their ability. And look at that. That's a big thing right there. You know, ability. Y'all only got two pennies. Well, you know, buy two dollars, buy two pennies worth of supplies. And if it's two pick, uh, two, uh, 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 a handful of uh, uh, two picks, you know, <laughs> to your ability, you know, to your ability, you know. Uh, it's, the, it's, it's the point of obedience. Uh, verse 45. And to give into the holy treasure of works a thousand pounds of gold, five thousand of silver, and a hundred priestly uh, vestments. And you know, and, you know look, look at this how rich Zion was. A thousand, a thousand pounds of gold. I mean, that's that's a tremendous amount of money. 500 pounds of, uh, of, of silver. You know, this is a lot of money, you know. So my point going to the blessing, Zion was tremendously blessed. You know, I mean, you can make a, a car out of a thousand pounds of uh, gold. It's a lot. I mean, a real working car. Okay, and uh, 46. It's, uh, and so dwelt the priests and the Levites and the people in Jerusalem and in the country, the singers also and the uh, porters and all Israel in the villages. But when the seventh month was at hand, Feast of uh, Tabernacle, when and when the children of Israel were every man in his own place, they came all together with one consent into the open place of the first gate, which is towards the east. Then stood up Yahushua, another Yahushua. I don't know which uh, particular one this was, but uh, Joshua. Yeah, but I'm saying I don't think it was um, the one after um, uh, Moses. Yeah, I think it's a different, uh, same name, is different. Yeah. Then stood up Yahusha, the, the priest at that time, the son of jo, Joseph, uh, Dek, and his brother, Ren the priest, and Zorubbabel, the sons of Shesalathiel, and his brother, and made ready the altar of Yah of Israel to offer burnt off, uh, sacrifices upon it according to as it is expressly commanded in the book of Moses, the man of Yah. I'll read that again, too. Right. To offer burnt sacrifices up upon it according as it is expressly. Meaning like, yo, I, you know, you get the point. You know, we went over this over and over and over and over and over. Commanded in the book of Moses, the man of Yah. And there were gathered unto them out of the other nations of the land, and they erected the altar upon his own place, because all the nations of the land were at enmity with them, and oppressed them again. You know, I was stressing the point that Zion was doing this in the time of being oppressed by other nations. They still did a Yah will with obstacles in place. And they also is no, is 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 laziness in this modern day and age. You know, no Satan won't you know come to you and put a gun to your head and tell you don't keep the feast day. He just give you a bag of popcorn and Sunday football. Hey man, you really trying to you really trying to miss the game? You really ain't trying to go get your hair done? You know what I'm saying? You know the slothfulness. You know what I'm saying? And that's even where I would, it would it would be better for somebody to put a gun to your head and say don't keep the feast days to just be slothful. Man, you just lazy, man. You know that's <clears throat> all right. Uh, 
enmity with them and oppress them, and they offer sacrifices according to the time, i.e. the feast days, and burnt offerings to Yah, both morning and evening. Uh, it's going to be to 53. Also, they held the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is commanded in the law, as it is commanded in the law, and offered sacrifices daily. And it goes back to, you know, each day, man, it's, it's about 20, 30 animals being sacrificed every day for seven days. As we meet, and after that, the continual obligations and the sacrifices of the Shabbat. You know, Brother Ron's uh, specialty. Uh, and of the new moons and of all holy Kadesh feast days. And all they that had made any vow to Yah to offer sacrifices to Yah from the first day of the seventh month. Uh, and that is a special time to, you know, to really get your prayer in if you're really trying to, you know, work something out with Yah. And these were these were unique times. You know, hey, you ain't hear me all year, Yah? Well, you know, I'm, I'm here on your feast day. You know what I'm saying? It's from Yah, the first Although the temple of Yah was not yet built, although the temple was not yet built, they still doing it. All right, and I'll just read, just go one more. I think I'll go First Maccabees 10. First Maccabees, it'll be the last one. First Maccabees chapter 10. You see, these are all different time frames. You know, the, the Exodus is not the same as the book of Maccabees. These are years, years, and years of course. That's what I'm saying. Then you got it going all the way back to Abraham. And then you got it going back to Egypt. I mean, and it's always, hey, do this. Respect the feast days. Remember it said it was in the heavenly tablets first. Yeah. It was already written on the Shalorines first. So they were doing that. And when it came to earth, it was Abraham. Uh, first Matthew B, chapter 10, uh, 1 to 50. First 1 to 50. <laughs> So these are important things, you know. And again, this is not boring things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not everybody, you know, uh, sometimes some people can do it, you know, the best. And some people, you know, you know, do it the, they just do it, you know what I'm saying? They get their little, they, 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 they two picks and, you know, and they, they do their thing. And then some people, they've written out a coliseum to do it, you know. But the point is to do it. All right, uh, first Maccabees chapter 2. All right, I thought this was very interesting. Y'all should find some of this very funny. But uh, the point two, First Maccabees 10, 1, 2, 15. All right. In the 160th year, Alexandria, the son of Antiochus, surnamed, Epiphius, you know, these names, these Greek names, what they got? Greek names. Uh, went up and took uh, uh, Potamos for the people had received, and uh, that's who married uh, Cleopatra, the, the guy with the P PTO name. Uh, that, was, that was Cleopatra. Because, you know, because Alexander, they was about to go to uh, Egypt and just kill everybody. And he was like, ah, go ahead, do it, Patrick. Peace. You know what I'm saying? So, and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, For the people had received him by means whereof he reigned there. Now when King Demetrius heard there, he gathered, heard thereof, he gathered together an exceeding great host and went forth against him to fight. Moreover, Demetrius sent letters unto Jonathan with loving words, so as he magnified himself. And Jonathan uh, was an uh, Israelite, uh, and you'll see about that in a little while, why that comes into play a bit more later on. Uh, Moreover, Demetrius sent letters unto Jonathan with loving words, so as he magnified him, forced for said he, let us first make peace with him before he joined with Alexander the Great against us. So 
this is this is why you know they trying to make a peace offering between uh, uh, the Hebrews, so they won't join forces. Because you got to remember, anytime anything the Hebrews touch, it is it, it is it is blessed. You know, it's just you want to win the war, put the Hebrew in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, else, still to this day, you know, you want to you want to win the you want to win the uh, the game, put the Hebrew in there. You know. Put Mike in there, you know, Pippin, you know, now, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you know what I'm saying? Uh, else, else he will remember all the evils that we have done against him and against his brethren and his people. So, uh, Demetrius, they was very hard. They were like hard taskmasters, like the Egyptians were on Zion. They were very hard taskmasters, and they're trying to, you know, uh, the enemy of my friend is my uh, friend, you know, type stuff before they join forces with somebody else. But it's going to play into the tabernacle uh, as we read on. Wherefore, he gave him authority. So so he coming to uh, Jonathan like, hey, I got something for you, Jonathan. This is what Demetrius is trying to offer, trying to win favor with Jonathan, the Jews. Wherefore, he offered him authority to gather together and host and to provide weapons, and he might aid him in battle. See that little thing, you know? I said, I might help you in battle. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's how the devil do, boy. You no, know, I said, I might. This is, I might pay your card note. You know what I'm saying? I might. All right. That he might aid him in battle. He commanded also that the hostage uh, that uh, were in the towers, towers should be delivered him. Then came Jonathan to Jerusalem and read the letters in the audience of the people and of them that were in the tower, who were sore afraid when they heard that the king had given him authority to gather together and host. Whereupon they of the tower delivered their hostages, yeah, hostage, hostages, unto Jonathan, and he delivered them unto their parents. This done, Jonathan settled himself in Jerusalem and began to build and repair the city. So, you know, they worked some out, you know, at that point in time that agreement was working out. And he commanded the workmen to build the walls and the mounts, Mount Zion round about with a square stone, with square stones for fortification, and they did so fortification. And they did so. Then the strangers that were in the fortresses with uh, Baxadis back, back had built, uh, fled away, and so, and so much as every man left his place and went into his own country. Only at Bathsheba Bat certain of those that had forsaken the law and the commandments remained still, for it was their place of refuge. Now, when the king Alexander, Alexander had heard what promised Demetrius had sent unto Jonathan, when also it was told him of the battles and noble acts, which he had and his brethren had done, meaning what the Hebrew Israelites have done in battle, and of the pains that they had endured. So now a bidding war started. First it was Demetrius, and now it's Alexander, Alexander, who uh, is about to say, hey, I got something for you. Let me sweeten the deal. Come join me. And, but it's all going to work into the, uh, to the tabernacle. He said, shall we find such another man now, therefore, we will make him our friend and confederate. Upon this he wrote a letter and sent it un un unto him according to these words, saying, King Alexander, to his brother Jonathan, sendeth greetings. We have heard of this of thee, that thou art a man of great power, and meet to be our friend. Wherefore, now this day we ordain thee to be the high priest of thy nation and to be called the king's friend. And there withal he sent him a purple robe and a crown of gold and required thee to take our part. 
and to keep friendship with thee, with us. So in the seventh month of the hundred and sixtieth year of the Feast of the Tabernacle, Jonathan put on the holy robe and gathered together forces and provided much armor. So look how y'all work with the faithful. So right now they're in battle time, but uh, because of their renown in battle and uh, there's and everybody want them to be a part of their, Demetrius want them to be a part of of them and Alexander want them to be a part of his uh, camp. Now, right before the uh, the tabernacle, Demetrius uh, Jonathan was like, "Man, I got a robe, man. I'm going in a busted, man. I can't be doing, you know, the tabernacle. I got holes in my clothes, my garments, and just <laughs> uh, FedEx, the Roman FedEx. Hey, man, King got you something here. <laughs> you know, right before the tabernacle." Right, and you know it because it was a bidding war. It was super luxurious. You know what I'm saying? He said, "Man, I think they got something else in it. What the a crime? What? You know what I'm saying? Right before the tabernacle. Right before the tabernacle. Right on time. Right on time. That's my right point. On time. Right on time. You know, because you know you got because they was just got to finish some hardship. You know, they they wasn't at full strength yet. Um, so in the seventh month of the hundred and sixty year of the Feast of Tabernacle, Jonathan put on the holy robe and gathered together forces and provided much armor. Whereof, when Demetrius heard, so Demetrius is hearing this is like a, this is like uh, what uh, three B.C. a soap opera. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? Like, well, what? you know what I'm saying? All right. So so now Demetrius is about to do something. So. Wherefore, when Demetrius heard, he was very sorry and said, What have we done that Alexander hath prevented us in making immensity with the Jews to strengthen himself? I also will write unto them words of encouragement and promise them dignities and gifts that I may have their aid. He sent unto them, therefore, to this effect. King Demetrius, unto the people of the Jews, sent greetings. Whereas ye have kept covenants with us, and continued in our friendship, not joining yourselves with our enemies. You know, you trying to be like, you know, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't messing with Alexander right now. You know what I'm saying? Good job, good job. We have heard hereof and are glad. We glad you ain't messing with uh, Alexander. You know. Wherefore, wherefore now continue, but you got to remember, Demetrius, in the first part of the chapter, they were like afraid because they were very hard to the Hebrews and they didn't want them to remember that, you know, they were very hard, you know, crashing baby heads against the wall hard type stuff. Uh, wherefore, wherefore now continue ye still to be faithful unto us and we will rep uh, recompense you for the things ye do in in our behalf, and we will grant you many immunities and give you rewards. And now do I free you, and for your sake I release all the Jews from the tributes and from the customs of salt and from the crown taxes. You know, just like they do in a perverted way nowadays. You know, a lot of these churches with the 5013C, you know, hey man, as long as you do what I say, man, you ain't got to pay the taxes. I ain't looking at your books, you know, the the the, 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 the church credit card at the strip club. I ain't, I ain't worried about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 you know what I'm saying? Work with me, and I'll give you special privileges. But, but this wasn't enough perverted way. I'm saying now it's perverted, you know. You know, they, they look in their faces, you know, they just like, no taxes, all the money's mine, you know. But, um, but this whole taxes stuff, you know, they go way back. They've been making these agreements. It's the same agreements over and over, just in different aspects. Um, 30. And from that which appeareth unto me to receive for the third part of the seed and the half of the fruit of the trees, I release it from this day forth so that they shall not be taken from the land of Judah, nor of, the, of their, nor of three governments which are aided their unto out the country of Samaria and Galilee, Galilee from this day forth for evermore 
Let Jerusalem also be holy and free with the borders thereof, both from tenth and tributes. And as for the tower which is at Jerusalem, I yield my authority over it and give it to the high priest that he may set in it much as he shall choose to keep it. Moreover, I freely set at liberty every one of the Jews that were carried captives out of the land of Judea into any part of the kingdom, and I will that all my officers remute, remit the tributes even of their cattle. Furthermore, I will will that all the feasts and the, the Shabbats and new moons and solemn days and the three days before the feast and the three days before the feast and before the three days after the feast shall be all days of immunity. So if you're not understanding what this is saying, and uh, freedom for all the Jews in my realm, meaning like these were like work off holidays, you know, like how they have now, you know, you don't got to go to work for July, 4th of July, Martin Luther King, Christmas. This was, hey man, we gonna make a decree. Y'all got, y'all got holy days, holidays. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta come to work. If they mad at you, let them know. You, it's, it's a holy day. You know what I'm saying? We got you. You understand that note too, brother Bob. When you got decrees back in the day, when a king make a decree, you know what I'm saying? That's like riding through the whole provinces. Mm -hmm. You know, that's because the king said. Mm -hmm. That means go through the whole province. That means it's law that Jews, is that day off, you couldn't say nothing to them. They, three days before and after. And after that, <laughs> think about it. And, and, and that's the king said that. Yeah. That's why Yah uses kings back in That's why I, I spent a lot of time. Yahoo used kings. Kings had authority. That's where they seals. Mm -hmm. That's why Yah used seal. He used to seal the king. Alright, and now uh, 35. Also, no man shall have, so he's still talking, man. So, also, no man shall have authority to meddle with thee or to molest any of thy, any of them in any matter. I will further. So, man, if you get a speeding ticket back there, man, hey, man, I'm on my three day vacation. Leave me alone. Get out! <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you hitting corners in the wagon, you know, they was like, you know, for three days, for six days, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm bumping my music, man. You know, you know they play the snoop back there. All night long, 24 hours. You got the king decree. You got the king decree. Yeah, you're making too much noise. Shut up. Nah, man. What the king Under the king's order. Under the king's order. So he keep going. He keep going. Also, no man should meddle. I'm sorry, read that. 36. I will further that there be enrolled among the king's forces about 30,000 men of the Jews. Unto whom pay shall be given. What they do not? What they do not? Hey man, what's the holidays? Paid time off. So on your six days out, this is paid time off. You know, this is what all they getting all these laws and stuff that's, that's in play here. These stuff is old, man. This stuff is way old. So not only not only are you, you know, what I'm saying you got your decrees, you know, hit the corners in the wagon, but you also getting paid on your six days off. So you know, what I'm saying next week or whatever you go All pick up. Pay, that's what I'm saying, you know. So we go pick up your check next week. You know, it's gonna be six days worth of pay. Okay, <laughs> that's why I was on as a bridge. I thought this was funny, but I'll go back to the tabernacle. I will further that the uh, road uh, 37, and of them some shall be placed in the king's strongholds, for of whom also some shall be set over the affairs of the kingdom which are of trust, and I will that their overseers and governors be of themselves, and that they live after their own laws, even as the king hath commanded in the land of Judea, and concerning the three governments, and are aided of Judah from the country of Samaria. Let them be joined with Judah, that they may be reckoned to be under one, nor bound to obey other authority than the high priest. As for Pat, uh, Pekan, uh, and the, the land pertaining thereto, I give it as a free gift to the sanctuary of 
Jerusalem for the necessary expenses of the sanctuary. So then we're saying they take care of everything. They want you bad. They want you bad to uh, agree. Uh, Demetrius want uh, him to agree with him. Very bad. He's giving a lot. Moreover, I will give every year 15,000 shekels of silver out of the king's accounts from the places uh, appertaining and all the overplus which the offices, officers paid not in as in the former time from henceforth shall be given towards the works of the temple. And besides this, the 5,000 shekels of silver which they took of, from the uses of the temple out of the accounts year by year, even those things shall be released because they have uh, uh, appeared to appear to to the priests that minister and whosoever they be that flee unto the temple of Jerusalem or be within the liberties thereof being in debt indebted unto the king or for any other matter let them be at liberty so you know you if you're in debtor's prison at this time because you couldn't pay some let them go talk this is to the Jews and all that they have in my realm for the building also and repairing of the works of the sanctuary uh, expenses shall be given of the king's accounts, yea, and for the building of the walls of Jerusalem and fortifying, therefore, round about. And you know he, and again, you know he wants the Hebrews to build their kingdom in his surroundings because you know when you when you build something of y'all around something, y'all gonna be, you know, y'all just ain't gonna let people mess around his stuff. So they know what they was doing. It, it, you know, it, it's, 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 a, it's a power move. Uh, expenses shall be given out of the king's accounts also, verse 46. Now Jonathan, now Jonathan and the people heard these words. They gave no credit unto them, nor received them, because they remembered the great evil that he had done in Israel. You know, and I, I always be talking about that too, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, man, people just want justice. I don't want your money. I don't want nothing. I want just like Proverbs 7, uh, Proverbs 6, if a man catch a, uh, uh, his wife with another man committing adultery, he don't want no money. He don't want to talk it out. He want justice. Just like in Revelations uh, chapter 6, after the saints that came through the tribulations, when they died and went uh, up in their uh, reformed bodies, transformed bodies, one of the first things they asked Yah for, Yah, when we going to get justice? I don't know. I love it here. I love it here. But what about justice? So, you know what I'm saying? That my point is saying that be careful what you do to people, too. Because, you know, sometimes there ain't nothing... You know, that's just black, bad blood there. So, you know, and the only thing is justice. And if you wrong them, that justice on your head. Uh, okay, but um, now when Jonathan and the people heard these words, they gave no credit unto them, and we don't care, nor received them because they remembered the great evil that he had done in Israel, for he had afflicted them very sore. And you know, Israel, boy, you got to do a lot to make Israel mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Israel was known for loving their uh, oppressors. You know, they miss uh, Egypt. You know, you got to be very harsh for Zion to be mad at you. Uh, then gathered the king, uh, verse uh, 47. Uh, but with Alexander, they were well pleased because he was the first that entreated of true peace with them and that were confederate with him always. Then gathered King Alexander great forces and encamped over against Demetrius. And after the two kings had joined battle, Demetrius had fled. But Alexander followed after him. And, you know, he destroyed him. Verse, verse 50 of the last one. But he continued the battle very sore until the sun went down. And that day, Demetrius was slain. Uh, but the point, and you got to remember, all this took place when they were trying to do the Feast of the Tabernacle. You know, he got the he got the money, he got the power right on time because they was putting their foot to the plow 
and really seeking to do uh, Yah will and keeping the high holy feast days and at this point uh, the feast of uh, tabernacle. But um, I just went to certain places, you know, it's, it's a straightforward uh, law, you know, you could just went to Leviticus, but, you know, just to see, you know, from the, uh, uh, Edgerus to Maccabees, how they were, had to fight to do it, and a lot of times now, and you know, that, that's when they had a sword to their head, you know, hey, you ain't keeping the law, statutes and commandments, and now you just got a bean burrito to your head, talking about, I ain't keeping the law, statutes and commandments. You see how it is? You know? <laughs> And you know, somebody got to be mad at, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so you know, so my point is, you know, be sure to uh, respect them, give them praise, and it's supposed to, it's a joyous time, you know what I'm saying? Just know that, that uh, Yah is very lively, and you can see about the musicians, and the party, and the food, but uh, the main point is, is to give Yah great honor, but once that takes place, you know, the, the big portion about that, the, the big portion doing that is a party, you know? But, you know, that's just a little lesson on uh, this piece of tabernacles. And you still got a few more days, a couple more days of it.